the song you sing As you wake up my soul today I feel the hope when your sun shines on my face Oh, I wake up with your grace While the moonlight still fading away I see your mercy coming with the day Oh Welcome to DW Design to Sell. I'm Deidre. I sure hope that you're having an incredible Sunday and that your weekend has been fantastic. As we wind down, I thought that I would come in and share with you a small haul. Uh, for the most part, things are from Amazon. I do have a few items from Home Goods that I will be sharing with you today. So come on in the room and join us in this. Um, little haul. Um, I hope not to keep you for very long. Um, these things are for the most part uh, for my laundry room. We're getting ready to redo the laundry room. Um, and so I thought that I would spruce it up just a little bit and kind of change it to my colors that I'm currently having in the house. Um, as you may or may not know right now, um, the colors that are in our laundry room are like the reddish burgundyish color. Um, and so I'm going to, of course, change that to uh, reflect the black and white and, and perhaps some beige tones. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. But before I do get started, let me ask you a question. Have you subscribed? Well, no? Why not? Come on, join the DDL family. Just hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and you will become a DDL family member. Also, Click on that bell so that you will be notified each and every time I upload a video. I really would appreciate you joining the family. We love our family and enjoy our together time. So please consider joining today. And to my existing family members, thank you, thank you so much for all of your support. It is an incredible feeling when you have so many people rallying around you that is supportive and that is watching and sharing. So please continue to do so, so that we can grow our channel. All right, let's get started. So um, what I'm not gonna do is actually <laughs> splurt out the prices of these items. I can, um, if I recall, go ahead and put them on the screen. Also, there may be some items that need to be put together. Um, and so I will put a picture up so that you can see what they actually look like because again, this is things that I'm gonna be putting in the laundry room. So not very fascinated, but somebody might be interested in these things. So I hope that you will be able to take away something as a part of this haul. All right, let's get started. Because there's so many um, things that I have on the Amazon side, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a few things I have at Home Goods. Now I am gonna be looking down and grabbing things down just so you know. There also is gonna be some boxes that I may have to open. I have my handy dandy scissors next to me. So just bear with me if you would, and uh, we will get through this. All right, this is Home Goods. So, went to Home Goods and I passed this item. And uh, I tried to leave without this item, but I could not. I thought it was beautiful, um, and so, I went ahead and purchased it, and it is this beautiful clock. I thought this clock was amazing. Now, um, this clock is made by Brooks Brothers, and the price on it was $39.99, so I can share with you home goods prices because it's right here on the item. And it's that beautiful brass gold um, that I love, so very nice. The next item, as you know, I am doing green for our spring and summer uh, pop of color. So as I was walking through, I saw this lovely book. And it is Vogue and it uh, has jewelry. And it was $24.99. 
it has some beautiful, beautiful pictures in here. So I'm going to enjoy looking through that. But it also matches my color scheme. So I thought I would go ahead and pick this up. And then the last thing I got from Home Goods, actually, you know, when you're walking out and you're getting ready to cash out, they get you right there, right? They have items on both sides. And so as I was going out, um, and I still don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'll find something. Um, but it was this lovely tray, and it's wood, and it was only $9.99. So I'll figure out something to do with it. Um, it is pretty substantial, it's heavy. Um, so we'll figure out something that we can do with that. All right, we're gonna go into Amazon now. So, um, gosh, where to start, where to start? I think I'll start with this item. And it is a clothespins holder. Now I don't use clothespins, so this is purely for show but i thought it was cute when i saw it on amazon i thought i would go ahead and purchase this so let's pull that out oh and i actually have some clothes pins in it. so it's this black and white clothes pin tin and then it actually included some clothes pins how cute so I thought that was a cute little item. I went ahead and purchased it. And it's in that black and white, which is gonna be the theme of the laundry room. Now, my laundry room is not very big. It's a mini second. Um, you walk through it from the garage. I wish I had a dedicated laundry room. Um, and in hindsight, I probably, when we purchased the home and was looking for a new home, uh, I probably would have a designated laundry room. But it works for us. It's only the two of us, so um, it is working for us um, at this moment. And I don't plan on moving anywhere. I'm pretty settled. So uh, we'll work with what we have. I also purchased these dryer balls. So you put these in the dryer. Um, you can put essential oils on them um, and make your clothing smell really good. Um, it will also soften up your clothes. So, thought I would try these. Um, it comes in a set of six. These are the extra large. I was going to take it out the bag, but uh, let me just go ahead and do that. Just so you'll see. So, it's these balls. Again, you can sprinkle some essential oils on this, throw it in your dryer with your clothes, and it'll make your clothes smell incredible and also soften them up at the same time. So I also use fabric sheets, but this will help aid in the softness of the clothing and it will smell good. All right, what's next, what's next? Let's see. I also ordered a rug to go in front of the wash. You know, every now and then you may have a leak here and there. So I didn't want anything that would get messed up should it get wet. So this is pretty long. Um, it is black and white. But it says wash and dry. So as you can see, it's very long. But what does it say? Well, let me turn around here. And it's made of that, kind of like that foam, so it's waterproof. And this is really, really soft, the front part of it. Again, it's black and white, and it says, wash and dry laundry service, self-service, open 24 hours. So I thought that was cute. So we grab that. Right. Okay, this is one of the items that I probably will put a picture of. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it. It is a storage. Yeah, I will definitely need to open it. It is a storage that's on wheels that goes on the side of your washer, your dryer, where you can put, you know, any cleaning items. 
um, that you can store. And so it has three shelves. So this is pretty much what it consists of. It has three different shelves. Again, it has the wheel, so you can roll it in and out. And I'll put a picture right here so you'll see exactly what it looks like. But that will come in handy to store. Even like, um, you know, cleaning items that you want to store, um, you can put them right there and they'll be conveniently located for you. Okay, many of these things I haven't even opened, guys, so bear with me. Um, I just got all these boxes over the weekend. And so I thought I would open them up with you. Now let's see what we got here. I sure hope you all have been doing well. Um, it's been a little busy for me uh, trying to get some stuff done. I do still uh, owe you all a video for our Ona Suite. Um, we did get a couple of new items there. I was waiting on one or two things to come in uh, for decor. Didn't do a whole lot of uh, updating in there uh, for spring or summer. But kind of wanted to flow and coordinate because our owner's um, suite is on the first floor with the other rooms that you've seen. All right, what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, we're going to also put, and this is another one that I'll have to put a picture up here for, but new lighting um, will be done. Here's just a diagram, but we'll be putting new lighting um, in the laundry room, and it's going to be black so again so you'll see exactly what it is i will put it up here so that you can see and get a true visual of the item so that's what that is like i said i haven't opened uh, a couple of these things so bear with me here is let's see okay this is the dryer ball holder. So I just shared with you the dryer balls. So let's see what this dryer ball holder looks like, guys. All right. Is it warming up in your area? Because it's getting a little warm here. I think it was 84 degrees. However, we did have a breeze, so it didn't feel quite like 84. It felt actually really good. I'm kind of uh, excited about the summer coming. Now, by the time it gets here and it gets extremely hot, I'll sure I'll change my mind. But until then, I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. All right, so this is the dryer ball holder. So the balls will go in here. And you can either put it magnetically on your washer or your dryer, or you can put it on, uh, on the walls with the hardware, and it includes the hardware. So this came in uh, black and white, or the reverse white and black. It is made of wood. It's a pretty decent item, so I thought that would be cute as well. There's nothing wrong with having a cute lunch room, right? aesthetically pleasing while you're doing the laundry because you don't really want to do it anyway, right? At least not for me. Okay, moving right along. These are just the bolts. Nothing exciting. The bolts that go to the lighting that will be in the laundry room. So it is the, um, I'll just show you the shape of the lighting that will go in there. Um, I did get the daylight, so it could be nice and bright in there. And it, it is just these bulbs here. Okay. And they come in a box of six. All right. Okay. Going along with the laundry room. Um, I needed a new steamer, so since I was doing laundry uh, items, I went ahead and purchased this Rowenta steamer. 
So we'll take a look and see how that works for us. I do have, uh, you know, comforters and drapes and things like that that I need to steam. So maybe this will give me incentive to do so. So again, it's the Rowenta Dry and Gel Steam, Dry and Excel Stream. Yeah. And there you have it. So hopefully it works really good. We shall see. Uh, let's see. Here's another box. Let's see. Sorry for reaching. Let me see what's in here. unrelated to the laundry room but I've been seeing it all the rave actually I have two of them I'll, I'll show them back to back and what it is is a candle warmer and you know I love candles I don't mind lighting my candles but these are much safer and that I can probably leave home and have this light on and won't be concerned, you know, with anything, anything catching fire. So I decided I would try them and see how that works. So geez, if I can get it out of here, they got it well packed. So if you purchase this, you shouldn't be concerned with anything coming broken. And it is in the color gold. I think this one, these are the balls that comes with I believe it's two bulbs, so you get extra one. And so, it has, it is that gold brassy color. You put the candle in here and heat it up. So I thought that was pretty. So we're gonna try it and see how that works for us. And I think it's nice that you get extra bulbs that come with it, so you don't have to be concerned with that. If you hear the dog barking, there's uh, our neighbor's dog is outside, and um, she's doing a little barking, so parting noise if you hear that. All right, and then we have another candle warmer. And this one I believe I'm gonna put in the kitchen, maybe. We'll see, but. I, I think that's where I want to put it. Okay. This one again comes with the bowls. They send you three bowls. So you won't have to buy bowls for a minute. Yep. And this one is also gold, but it's gold and black. That's why I think I'm gonna put it in the kitchen area. In here, I have, and here's the other bowl, and the other one is in the phone. But in here, in here, for the most part, I have silver, and then um, in the kitchen area, I have the gold. I don't mind mixing metal, so it's no big deal if I put it here or anywhere else in the home, because uh, mixing metals, I, I, I'm a huge fan of. But here's the black and gold one. And then you have like the little remote where you can do the timer. You put it on a timer and it'll shut off at the time periods that you want, I believe. Um, you can set it at, let's see. Of course, I have to take my glasses off to read. Isn't that awful? You can set it at two, four, and eight hours. So I thought that was nifty. I don't know if I have that same option with the other one. Let me check. Let's check it. Let's check it. Let's check it. So. Oh, I do. So, two, four, and eight hours. You put it on for the timer. Good deal. Love that. Love that option. Okay, this is also unrelated to laundry, I think. 
we may be done with the laundry room, but we'll see. So these are just bag chips in there. They're gold. And I'll take out so you can see the size. You get, looks like eight. Yep. You get a set of eight. So they're just the clips that you go on the chip bag. Beautiful color gold. Not that orangey color. I can stand the orange color. Um, when you get old, um, the gold items and they come and they have that orangey tint to it. I don't like that kind of gold. I like the more brassy looking gold. And then I ordered these. I have some spice jars. Um, and so I went ahead and ordered these labels from Amazon. Now, I only need probably six of these, so I'll have plenty left. I have some left from another um, project that I did, but it is what it is. If um, any family members, any friends need some, and I have these, then I'll be glad to share them. Those were really reasonable. I think they were like maybe five or six bucks, so no big deal. Glad to get these boxes out of my house. All right. Reaching over, I apologize for that. Um, this is another item, guys, that I'm gonna have to put a picture. Um, and what this is is an over the door storage. So you have these baskets. Now these baskets, they are black and it's eight of them. So over the door they hang. So you could put in, again, cleaning items. When I was thinking about the laundry room, I was thinking about how do I want to minimize things on the wall as far as storage. So right now I have some acrylic shelving that I have, you know, like your disinfectant spray, your furniture polish, things like that that's readily available and handy for me. So all I have to do is go in and grab it off of that shelf and, you know, utilize it. Well, I kind of want to minimize that stuff from being on the wall. So I think that between the rollaway bin and also the um, over the door shelving, it will help aid in doing that so that I can have some that, a, a little bit of the wall space. So I just thought about it, I, I uh, need to go and, and uh, get another item that I forgot in the laundry room to share with you. But before I do that, um, the laundry room is also where my dog um, actually have her food tray. And so if the laundry room is gonna be aesthetically pleasing, her food tray has to be aesthetically pleasing. So uh, again, this is probably gonna be a picture because I gotta put stuff together. Um, but it is this acrylic pet bowl. And it is elevated, so, you know, she's getting a little bit older. I don't want her, you know, be straining her neck or anything. So I'm gonna put, again, a picture of this there so that if you want your puppy to have one of these, you can go out and grab it um, and order it from Amazon under that tray because sometimes she makes a mess and you know there's water and she's flat on her water i also got this pet mat that she will be able to place um well she that i will be able to place under her food and water uh, bowl and we'll keep everything nice and neat and that i'll just have to rub it off um, it is rubber so we'd be good to go laundry room. I ordered these baskets. So right now I have containers with with my um, I, I kind of go a little bit overboard where I have a multitude of different ways to wash. So I have the pots, I have the powder, and I have the liquid. And I have them all in containers. Uh, and then I have the bleach, regular bleach, bleach for colors. And of course, the liquid fabric softener. So in those containers, I figured I would use these baskets. 
to kind of house those items in so they'll be there nice and neat. We'll see how that works. But it comes in a set of two. So uh, that's currently the plan for these. That plan may or may not change, but I thought these were cute um, to have as part of the aesthetic. All right, I'm gonna run and get that other item. I'll be right back. All right, family, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Okay, last thing I wanna share with you is these uh, clothes pins. I got these actually from at home. They were on clearance. I took them out of the package so that I wouldn't make too much noise, but we have the fold and you hang it on the wall. And this is on clearance for $4 have to dry and we have the wash so I thought those was cute again aesthetically pleasing in the black and white so um, what we will be doing is there's gonna be um, painting the walls um, one half will be black one half will be white um, our new washing and dryer is scheduled to arrive on May 14th so we got to do a lot of prep work um, for the laundry room uh, so that it'll be uh, ready to go when they come in and install. And then I will, of course, uh, record and show you the progression of that um, as we start getting um, that stuff done in the laundry room, all of that work done. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I think it'll, it's really going to pull you know, the whole downstairs together and that we will have pretty much the flow of the black and white and then punches of um, our beige. And of course, the colors that I pop in, um, you know, depending on the season or even um, the holidays that come up, then I would just have to change out the color. So that's pretty much, much what I'm trying to head towards is just have kind of a neutral area um, and that I can just put in pops of color um, and that make that change in that way. I won't have to keep changing, you know, furniture or anything like that. Um, we'll just, you know, throw in, you know, a candle or two or throw in, you know, throws and pillows and pretty much get the pillow covers and just use the same pillows. Um, you know, the, uh, Amazon have a multitude of those as well as many, many other stores that you could purchase those from. So instead of getting those pillows and not having the space uh, to store those pillows, I'm going to be getting the pillow covers. And so uh, with that said, um, I will be bringing that to you in the near future. Uh, the next video will uh, be our owner suite. Yeah, we'll do the owner suite. I'll share that again. Not a whole lot of changes in that area, but trying to bring in, because as you may or may not know, my room is blue. Uh, I don't intend on changing that. I have blue and white and, and the beige or cream colors in there. We had a little punch, a little punch of the gray. It's kind of like um, grayish, if you would um, call, could call it that. So it's in between a gray beige type of um, tone in there. And so I will continue with that, but I am gonna pop in the spring color of green in there. So there are gonna be a few things here and there that'll pop in that green. I think that um, right now it will uh, coordinate well and flow um, with the bottom half of the home. The other thing I'm gonna do is for our new family members, I know you probably, unless you went back and looked at old videos, have not seen anything in our second floor. I've been really, really working on the first floor of our home and I've um, kind of tried to minimize things. Now, as you all know, I am a maximalist um, and I don't have a, a problem with saying that, um, but I can minimize some things and I've done that. Also, you know, as a true decorator, I can pretty much decorate any style. So if the people that I'm working with are minimalist, then I decorate to that. But in my home, I put in what I love and I hope that you would do the same. So uh, I think that is it. So I'm just looking around just to make sure. But I think that is it. Sorry if I kept you too long. I really appreciate again you taking the time with me on this Sunday. And I uh, hope that you will come back again. Again, if you are not subscribed, we would love to have you there. Please consider joining our family. 
I do hauls, I do shopping with me, um, decorate with me from occasion. Now, let me let me just put this disclaimer out there. The decorate with me are normally far and in between because I am really in, engulfed when I'm doing decorating and you know, my brain is going and you know, I don't wanna be putting things here and then taking them back and then putting them here and taking them back. So a lot of the times when I show you the videos, the room is already done. Um, and so I'll think about how I'm gonna do the owner suite, but for the most part, it's probably gonna be already put together. But on occasion, if it's a small area, such as when I did the fireplace, then I will do it at the same time. Uh, with you. So uh, another thing I might try to consider venturing out and doing is uh, a live video. Now I'm a little scared, a little nervous about that because I want people to join and participate, but we shall see. Uh, that is a growth opportunity for me. So again, thank you for being with me. I am still learning a lot about this whole YouTube world and I really, really appreciate all the support that I get. Um, I, you, you just don't know how, how much I appreciate you all and all the support that you're giving. Also, if you could please like, share, and comment, I would really appreciate it. That helps grow my channel tremendously. And we have seen quite a bit of growth. We want to continue growing. So please, please, by all means, do that for me. And I would greatly appreciate it. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful week. I love you, and there's absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Have a great week. Bye-bye now.